What's going on, everybody? This just in. Tom Brady must serve a four games, you know, deflate gate suspension uh, over last year's involvement when they blew out the Colts and they just had to dry snitch right quick. Um, obviously, right now, you're going to figure out that a lower judge was overturned uh, by this other federal appeals court, which is pretty much what was supposed to happen because the NFL is big money and they're not going to let it go because they pay a lot of money to have the power that they have. And the players union gave Roger Goodell most of the power that he has. So therefore you know these things are going to happen um it was good though for them to put it back a year to give them time to play but the only thing that happened is that they faced denver and Den and von miller and freaking demarcus will was all up in tom brady's ass but regardless of the situation i don't really give a f about the flake gate i understand about the integrity of the game but based on the rule what was it like a twenty-five thousand dollar fine or something for Tom Brady to receive a four-game deflate gate suspension is completely ridiculous and just shows why, you know, the player, the player union, th those guys and everybody that agreed to this stuff to give him that kind of power, it's their fault. It's, it's everybody's fault. Whoever, whoever heads that, um, whoever helped to organize it to accept that. And I know it's tough because a lot of the lower level players don't get paid while these things are going on and there's a delay, but you cannot give one person that much power. And that's what's happening right here because I'm not a I'm not a New England Patriot fan, a New England Patriot fan or anything like that. Um, I don't really give a f about um, most a lot of teams in the NFL. I respect what the Patriots have been able to do over a long period of time, regardless of the bounty gate, the spy gate, all kinds of gate, which your gate in front of your house. It doesn't matter what kind of gate it is. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, they go out there and they make plans and they take care of business year in and year out. Now. As far as we know, Bill Belichick is the only person to be caught doing these type of cheating things. But I'm pretty sure he's not the only coach doing it. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Donald Trump has soon come to uh, you know uh, to his best friend, or not best friend, but friend Tom Brady's defense, saying, "Listen, bro, what the f?" And look, guys, already you know they, they're gonna look at it like, "Yeah, Donald Trump is a douchebag, whatever like that." It don't really matter about all that stuff, bro. It's a goddamn air pressure of the ball. And the refs were holding the ball all game, bro. It was a blowout. It was so disgusting. The Colts stunk up the joint. And you're going to punish Tom Brady for beating the hell out of him because, okay, yeah, he likes his balls a little bit deflated. This is complete BS. And like I said, it's the players' union's fault. It's nobody else's fault because if they didn't give Roger Goodell those power, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. It'll be over. But it's, it's, I don't like this, bro, because... You know, if, if the rule book says $25,000 fine, give them a $25,000 fine. Don't add a suspension and take away draft picks and do shit just because of the Patriots. That's when you're superseding what your documents say for you to do. And that's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. And I did predict that this would happen, and I said it in past videos. You guys can go back and look at them, where I said, look, the NFL is gonna win in the end because it's big money. And Tom Brady, even though he's the golden boy, is not bigger than the big money that the NFL provides. And it's as simple as that. They were gonna get him sooner or later. Gotcha. Until next time, one love.